like, bro. Is he actually got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Back with another Patrice so new you can talk. Yep, um, we got to the little first part. It's pretty much a compilation of, of um, all his stand-ups so far that I've seen on YouTube, you know. Um, some of these clips are familiar, but uh, there's some of these in here I don't think we actually reacted to on the channel, so. Um, yeah, they had a, lot, a lot of them seem new. Not new, but not like, new, we be new to this channel. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you know, my, how do you, I don't know if you're like a rogue big in the comedy and stuff, you have like, your favorite comedians or anything, but what would you rate Patrice O'Neill amongst the comedians you've seen so far? Uh, from the scale of one to ten, I, I believe he's like a. Hmm, I don't give him a ten. I give him a strong. Maybe nine. I don't know, man. It, it's yeah. The stuff he the stuff he talks about all the time. It's like him, Corey Holcomb. They got like this. This like um. It's messed up comedy. It's like, I mean, that's that's funny. It's the truth comedy. It's the real comedy. It's the. It's the I don't know. Every every comedy is the truth. It's just like it depends on what you're talking about too. You know, I mean? you could be talking about some of his. Um, you could be talking about anything for real, but it's just like I'm not know, saying it's not funny. It's funny, but I know uh, he has an interesting view on relationships and stuff. Like, uh, I was thinking about maybe reacting to some of the little Opie and Anthony clips that he does, where he has females call in and they. Explain our situation. He, he breaks it down no matter they are, the love they are, like the way men act in relationships, how that can be a detriment, and you know, just certain things. He's pretty funny about it too. You know, he, he goes wild on those um, radio shows. You say, let us know in the comments if you want to actually see that. But I think we should. I think we might hop into it a little bit. But uh, yeah, Patrice O'Neill. I would say he's one of my favorite comedians. We did one before. Yeah, we did a while ago. He was like talking about. I like you get with a chick, she learn your moves, and then she use her she use your moves against you. And if you don't flip her and put her back on her face, she felt like she figured you all out, and she gets bored with you. You know, now Part she of, uh, the first starting five. It's starting five, you know, if you don't get your your roster up, I mean, my roster got obliterated. I fucking waste a lot of my time. Whatever. <laughs> but I don't know. I think Patricia knows hilarious. I would say like he's one of my top fives. You know. He's your top five. Yeah he's, yeah, he's definitely my top five. <laughs> Joey Diaz is in my top five. Really? Joey Diaz is fucking hilarious, man. He is hilarious. He's, he's in top five. five. Yeah, man. He's crazy as hell, man. That's crazy. He's definitely top five. Um, I, I don't know. I'll probably, top five of all time or top five of your favorites? And my favorites. Okay. Alex Sadiq. I was about to say, I was like, he's I don't know. Five. Yeah, I don't know. Richard Pryor, he's, he's pretty fun. I like, I always stayed away from him as a kid because like, I thought he was just older. I'm like, Richard Pryor, he's hilarious. We haven't reacted to Richard Pryor. That's, some, that's someone else wanted to. He's, a, he's hilarious. Him. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, man. Make sure you like, want, subscribe, and share. Really appreciate everyone that's coming back to the channel. You know, we're gonna hop right into it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, man. Here's the thing about why I say try and have a good time. Because uh, when you get adult, yeah, all you can do is try to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember the good old days when you was a kid and you see somebody with a funny shaped head? And you pointed right at the head like it was nothing in you to stop from pointing at that funny head that made you oh jeez look at that funny shaped head right there. <laughs> it wasn't that bullshit in you to stop you know like like now we adults you got you still want to point at a funny shaped head but now you go, uh, I can't I can't point at a funny <laughs> head. But your first feeling is your real feeling. You understand that other shit is you trying to trick God. Some way, and the thinking you you a wonderful person, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, look, okay, don't go too far ahead of me. You ever, you ever try to watch the Special Olympics and and try not to be uncomfortable because it's the it's the right thing to do? I never watched the Special Olympics. And you sitting there trying to watch it and just. <laughs> But the 10 meter stumble hit that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you try to. You do, because you're a good person. <laughs> On your marks, it said go. <laughs> 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 and 
Ah! I'm like, <laughs> shoot at his feet to make a move. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn your drawers backwards because it fits better. Your drawers fit better because the ass is the ass is nicer. You see people like that with an ass in the front. All right, whatever, right? That's a nasty. But this dude, he had titties everywhere. My line thing on his neck, on his shoulders. He's talking about those, those people who get so big, they got like that fat sack hanging over. It's like under her stomach and it's like between her legs. Something like that. You got like a... Oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, you got like a, fucking, um, a duffel bag. Like you about to get on a fucking, fucking Spirit Airlines or something. You're like, sir, sir, you have to check that bag. And like, bag. I said, you mean like a fanny pack? Fanny? That ain't, that ain't no fanny pack, man. That's a duffel bag, man. That's a duffel bag? That's a bean bag. That's, that's nasty. That's what it is. Oh, and I was... I, could, I was getting horny watch. I was, I was, oh, I was really? sitting there like, and you know, you don't want to, but I'm like, man, this is full of tennis. Wow. I'm, I'm getting tired of uh, famous people uh, making me give money to the disease that they got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, huh? And I don't mind that, but it's selfish. But be honest with your selfishness. Now Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's disease, and that's terrible. But I just wanted to be honest with his his problem. I don't because he's on TV every five minutes talking about how terrible the disease Parkinson's disease is. But I just want to be honest with selfishness. I want to ask him a question. I'm going, hey, hey, Mike, listen. I, I, I know you got Parkinson's disease, but what about cancer and AIDS? Are those important too? I just want to see. Go, yeah, they're important. But you know what? I ain't got that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. So I'm not gonna give money to something I don't have. To, uh, <laughs> if somebody famous don't have your disease, you are dead. You are you are finished. <laughs> you realize that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna I'm so I believe in God, all right, but I don't have a religion. That's because I'm a coward, and that's that's why I don't have a religion. Now, I believe in God, but I'm just saying. My thing is, I don't mind going to hell if I'm being a sinner. And I'm, I gotta go to hell. My thing is, I'm afraid of going to hell for being like a devout, wrong shit. Like I, 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 I don't be praying to the wrong God where I could have been having sex with hookers or shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> God is hilarious. He gave me a disease where I could die from all the stuff I like to eat. And the, the, the doctor didn't go, uh, uh, Mr. O'Neill, uh, if you ever eat Brussels sprouts and spinach again, <laughs> yeah. you could die. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, no. That would be well. All the yeah. shit I like, I could pass away from. A pack of cookies the reason it's like that. could kill me. Now, I found out five years ago I was diabetic, so you figure I haven't eaten cookies in five food. years. No, I'm talking but about. it's not the case. I'm walking through the, su I walk through the supermarket and I see uh, some white chocolate covered Oreos. And that's death. You understand? That's, that's heroin and, and, and coke and everything for me. And you figure I walk right by like, what the fuck is this? This is, this is, I could die from this. Who put this display in here? But it's not, I'm not, I'm sitting there, I'm shaking, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm praying to God. I'm praying to God for the strength. I'm wasting a good prayer not to eat cookies. I'm not praying that people in Africa get, get food. I'm like, oh God, please, please give me the strength not to eat these, these cookies. And I'm lactose intolerant, but... If I eat these cookies, I gotta have some milk. I, I got to. So I'm, you know, but I don't want to die. But you know, you gotta tell yourself something to make you feel better. Like you know what? You know what? Fuck it. I don't need both my feet. One day I'm gonna lose weight. It's harder when you get older. When you get older, it's harder to lose weight, man. Cause uh, you know, uh, uh, now I have to lose weight to stay alive. You know? And that's not enough motivation for me. <laughs> Look, you gotta lose weight, you're gonna die. Wow, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like that? Well, it's a good run. But it was younger, it was easier because the motivation was different. Pussy. When I, when I was trying to. When you tried to drop a few to get some pussy, you did everything you could. You was rocky when you was trying to get some pussy. And y'all can help us, ladies. I'm, I'm serious. But we got we got that violent street shit. It's it's the strangest thing. You ever get violent for nothing? For no reason? Is that a, a weirdest feeling? You know, stand next to somebody at the bus stop or something some dude, you don't know. You look at him and hey man, how you doing? You look back there, good, good. And you look back again, your brain's like, hey, hey. You know, it'd be a good time for you to punch him in the side of the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> you like, what? To yourself? What the fuck are you talking about? And you only want to punch him because he's standing there not ready to get punched. So he's like, <laughs> <laughs> this dude, he's disrespecting you, man. You, you know what? This dude ain't paranoid enough. You gotta punch him in the side of his head. He ain't paranoid enough. Look at this people out there that'll punch him in his head. He, he not even he not even using his peripheral. He, you know what? He ain't even scared of you. You should punch him and let him know. You better be scared of me, motherfucker. You don't just stand there and not pay attention to the fact that I want to punch in the side of your head. That's the thing about that is like I, I thought of. Well, I think we all think stuff like that. I, I think I think it's just like us as humans. It's just the things we see. It's just like. I don't know, this thought, these thoughts just come in, it's like... It'd be random thoughts, too. It's like, like oh, I could just, I could just rob this store right now. Yeah, bro. Like, not even, like, that's not what you want to do, but, like, that's just something, it's like... It's like, you're, th you're saying... You get the money, like, somebody leaves some money on the camera, I can just take his wallet right like, now. Like, literally, I was sitting in class, like, if you're this old thing universe, I would punch this dude right next to me. <laughs> I'd punch, I'd punch him as hard as I yeah, can. Yeah, just go back to the universe. Back to the universe, like, <laughs> get over here! Over here. <laughs> I'm not a murderer in this universe. <laughs> but no, I, I was but I was saying about the whole cookie thing and the, the food is like all the shit that really tastes good is horrible for you. 
I love Brussels sprouts. Is, fire. You know, no, I love Brussels sprouts and uh, cabbage. But I'm just saying, like, they made the food, especially in America, to where like it's so better. it's so good to your palate. It's just like you're like now you're just consuming all this this trash and just like you're so used to that sweetness. That's why when people go to other countries and they eat their food, it's like. This is this is kind of bland. It's like no, they're using real ingredients. And real ingredients. <laughs> they're not using processed baby fetuses to make your food taste like strawberries. And shit, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's it's our fault for real. You know what I mean? We always want more. Well, it's kind of hard to ignore the when you got a corner store next to your house that sells donuts, whole boxes of donuts, not the fake name like these name brand little Debbie donuts. I mean, like for a dollar. Hey, buddy, you want whole new stock, whole new stock, devil cakes, everything. Dollar. Dollar, man. You, you know, my, my you always fat, talk about that, man. My fat ass, as a kid, I, I, would, I would buy the box. Anytime I got a dollar, I go to the store, buy a box, and I come back in. And in my head, I'm like, I'll make this last a week. I'll dump the whole thing in my drawer. By the end of the night, I already ate like seven, eight cookies, seven, seven, eight cakes. And I probably got one left in the morning when I wake up. Now, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lay off the stuff. My leg and stuff, I'm tangling. Bro. I'm having sharp shooting pains and stuff. For, for a time, I, I actually, this this arm right here would, would be like real. I felt like I was gonna have like a heart attack or something. So I was like, I'm gonna lay off all sugar. I'm gonna start doing water fast. I'm gonna start um, like I'm, I'm gonna go like two, three days every month where I just don't eat anything. I just have water and shit. I can get I can start flushing all this toxic trash that's in my system out of me. You know, so I get the scar on my head right now. I watched a few YouTubers. You know who Tyron Magnus is? He did a water fast. And you talking about how he had like scars and different, this, this different thing that was wrong with his body. And after you did the fast, like some of that stuff just disappeared. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna start doing that stuff because uh, for a long time I've been eating nothing but garbage. And I can, I'm just yeah, smoking. Effects. Yeah, I'm, I'm done smoking cigarettes too. Because I, and Triple H almost died of a heart attack. And this nigga's, he hasn't, he hasn't smoked, doesn't drink, nothing. I'm like, this, this nigga can get. I'm over here doing. I'm over here treating my body like a like cesspool sewage. I'm gonna die. But yeah, man. If you enjoyed uh, Patrice O'Neill, let us know in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time. Peace. Da, 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 da.